This program is intended for mature audiences and may contain some material that is not suitable for everyone, including violence, coarse language, and unfiltered opinions. We do not endorse the views of those we report on. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to CSB. We have a compliment tonight. We actually have a guest, which is surprising. Hey, on the second show, no less. We're going to be talking about, oh, the EPA banning asbestos, illegal immigrants being able to legally own firearms, the Supreme Court debate on whether a particular Texas councilwoman was arrested politically and if they if she could sue the mayor and then we have some disgusting things from dave as usual so let's turn to the people let's talk to the people i want to say howdy to the people i do believe there's a mari and a bill and trav from to We have a Sydney, and we have that asshole security monitor lizard. Man, that guy's a pain in the ass. Always telling me, hey, you need to cover the weather. Well, we're going to weather this one. That's for certain. Tonight, let's bring on the panel. That was sure fucking something, I'll tell you that. Like, <laughs> well, you asked for something. I'll give you something. Yeah, I did. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I mean, we're all weathering your public access broadcast voice. So, <laughs> pull it out your ass. <laughs> pull it out public your use ass. broadcast voice, I suppose. No, no, that's 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 Lizard's voice because he is public use. You can oh, see him in the middle it's... stall. Yeah, well, oh you, you, you got to do the uh, what is it? Shit, 
Sorry, I had a joke there, but I forgot it. Uh, <laughs> off to a great start, I see. Uh, yeah, no, no, have 10 no. people watching, by the way. That's pretty good for oh, a nice. channel here. Yeah. Hell Thanks yeah. Everybody who's watching already. That's fucking I'm, great. I'm excited. Hell yeah. I don't, I I don't know how it, long it, I'm, I'm going to stay, hope, but. Well, hey, stay as long as you want. There, There's right. not a limit. Sweet. But anyways, okay. yes, we do have things to cover. Uh, no, yeah, no. I'm I'm back. I'm back. Be gentle with me today. I I, I guarantee, I get I will be like Dulcalax. All right, we'll be like Dulcalax. What the fuck is that? That's a laxative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, I guess that it's, it's a gentle laxative. Oh, that's a gentle laxative. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's 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 gentle. Also, hi, spherical man. No, I didn't forget you. I'm always watching. It's just. You know, I I I am a uh, competing mass of conflicting impulses. I always God, consider like, I always associate <laughs> fucking laxative with like aggressive shitting. Ag uh, ag aggressive. Well, aggressive well, shitting. Yes. Only if you eat the whole box. They are tasty. Oh God! Don't you're not so. Listen, you're not supposed to eat all you're the not old supposed chocolate to suck on them, Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, He's... I only eat the suppositories. <laughs> I have wrong questions. <laughs> I have questions. Many questions. You're tasting those through the wrong end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these things taste like ass. <laughs> Look, Big Jim comes in every Saturday, and you know he's gives me a thousand bucks. So what can Man, I say? These laxatives taste <laughs> like ass. Man, these ass taste like laxatives. <laughs> This ass tastes like emodium <laughs> with a little bit of keopectate. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> all right. All right. What do we got? Yeah, so, here, all right. Uh, let's, uh, let's get with it. We have some articles. So, uh, yeah, the EPA is finally banning chrysotile asbestos. Apparently, because there was still a partial ban. And, uh, yeah. The final rule marks a major expansion of EPA regulation under landmark 2016 law that overhauled regulations governing tens of thousands of toxic chemicals in everyday products, from household cleaners to clothing and furniture, because there's nothing like toxic chemicals in your clothing and furniture to keep you awake at night. It's... Uh, it's perplexing. It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy how long this shit's been like caught yeah. in place. You know, like you, you think once fucking asbestos was banned, they'd get rid of the three or four different types that are used. But no, it took a little bit of doing. So, um, yeah, this historic ban is more than thirty years in the making, and thanks to amendments that Congress made in 2016 to fix the Toxic Substances Control Act. Now, I wish California would stop putting random ass Prop 65 tags on everything. Oh, this this contains yeah. chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer or reproductive harm. I'm like, oh well, that's you've you've plastered it on everything. It's fucking pointless. That's all fine and well, but. Can we get some actual legislation? Yeah, I, I would like some actual legislation. <laughs> like, there's the fact it's taken this long for there to even be any action on this at all, when it's been proven to be an issue for this long, goes to show how much of an issue it can be with oh, yeah. um with taking time to get shit done in politics. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Politics well, you... moves at the speed of ball sack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Moving at government speed. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, <laughs> and you you can. A lot of that, especially when it comes to like the EPA, you can thank the Republicans for yes. not understanding anything that regards science, unless it's you know physics involving weapons. Yeah. And they know a lot. Yeah, but... and they've been weakening uh, the EPA and a lot of other uh, agencies grasp on things, especially the FDA, by the way. If you haven't been totally aware of what's been happening over the last five years, um, thing your food's not as safe as it should be, and it's because they are working the FDA 
to like a grinding it to a halt with all the shit that they have to inspect and they don't have enough inspectors for every other place. That's a real consternation. And they're not going to give any funding to get more employees. So no, they'd rather just lower the age on uh, children being able to work in really unsafe environments. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, This, this kid ain't going to school anymore. No, he's processing pigs. I mean, get that kid off his iPad, send him to the mines. Yeah. Give me the old black long. He'll learn. He'll learn. Builds character. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) So, yeah. um, The 2016 law authorized new rules for tens of thousands of toxic chemicals found in everyday products, including substances such as asbestos and trichloroethylene, that for decades have been known to cause cancer, yet were largely unregulated under federal law. Um, The EPA banned asbestos in 1989, but that rule was largely overturned by a Court of Appeals decision in 1991 that weakened the EPA's authority under the toxic, uh, the the TSCA to address risk to human health from asbestos and other existing chemicals. Now, I wish they would do something about uh, PFAS, which is basically a persistent forever chemical yeah it is a forever chemical it does not break down easily a lot of those pfas things are actually in like transformers you know you know those big white tubes that are sitting on fucking power lines yeah those are transformers and they're usually filled with mineral oil too yeah uh i i knew a uh a lineman and he was talking to me about how there was a, a an old transformer that exploded right by this dude's house. Like they had the transformers, you know, on that strip of uh, public land or Mm -hmm. government land right behind his house. And it blew up and the transformer sprayed all of this stuff all over his house and his property. They had to remove the roof. They had to remove, you know, the, you know, the soil down to a certain level. And all of this had to be covered by the uh, state and local government. Because it was a transformer that had been there since like the 70s. So oh, yeah. it hadn't been replaced. And dude got a it he was out of out of his home for a few months, but at the same time, he got all of that comp to him, so he didn't have to actually pay for it himself. But it was a huge uh, kerfuffle, mm-hmm. I guess you could say, because he had to also had to like go through, you know, the legal system to make sure that they paid for everything. But it, it literally his entire roof on his house, the gutters, the soil, like I said, uh, even the uh, concrete in his backyard had to be torn up and disposed of properly because it's mm. so it's so disgusting. That is yeah, crazy. It, yeah. Th- those sorts of chemicals are really pernicious. It, it all goes back to when like tetraethyl lead and chlorofluorocarbons were the really big issue for many decades. And we just finally stopped having to deal with massive amounts of Freon. And nobody uses leaded gasoline anymore. It's been fucking almost 45 years. Thank you, Thomas Midgley Jr., you douche. Oh, it, he's he's on the list of people who have uh, killed themselves with their own inventions. It's true. Mm-hmm. I, man, I fucking can't stand that guy. Not a big fan of Midgley's. I, I mean, <laughs> ni- neither could he because he did contract polio. You, you know, yeah. you know what the problem is when it comes to like public health shit like this, honestly, that I've noticed, especially within like the past decade or so, mm-hmm. is like there's a lot of cases where we have to keep fucking fighting these battles over and over again. Like the entire reason why the FDA was created, I feel like we're already going back to a lot of the fucking shit that was the exact reason why we had to make a fucking government agency for this shit to begin with. And now people are trying to take less power away from it. Like really of all the fucking alphabet agencies you want to take power away from really the FBA, the FDA, like fucking hell. Yeah. They, they've, they've been really gunning for, Oh, well the FDA says this and the FDA says that, but they can't, they can't manage the drugs, right? They can't manage the food, right? Well, we should just 
give that control to private companies who won't have any fucking that ain't the answer yeah competency like, or full liability for the fucking choices just because the, the fda is just because the fda is not fucking per- perfect doesn't mean like we have to throw out the baby with the bath water I mean, what's, yeah what's yeah. worse is uh taking on the epa because i i like the environment because i live in the environment and yeah, I like living, yeah. so yeah, I'd rather not. You know, uh, I, I it's a it's a lot of people that go out into, you know, you have all of these high speed uh, congressmen and senators that you know try and hack hack away at these agencies, and they're like, oh yeah, I love going out and hunting and everything, but they can't understand why the epa is important to them being able to do that it's it's like uh it's like uh you know advertising agencies oh yeah we've uh we uh put uh, arsenic in the baby food yeah we we said is your baby crying too much yeah, just give him a little nyquil that'll be all right. yeah a little nyquil big and little y big just fucking give him a bit just give him a bit of a uh, forever quill. It'll take good care. Of <laughs> do 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 not use while driving or operating heavy machinery. It should say, "Don't make any fucking plans." It should just say, "Do not use on it." <laughs> do not. I mean, <laughs> I have I've seen some uh, really old medicines, like back before we started using the metric system for medication. Um, it had something like a shitload of tincture of cannabis, alcohol, chloroform. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. And, and this was a cough syrup. It, forget those, coughing. Forget sleeping. You are in a coma. And those damn liberals took it away from us. I was having a good time. You know, to be clear before I make this joke, I know what I'm about to say is not true, but sometimes I swear to God, they're just putting in shit just to see what they can get away with. <laughs> like, like, Jesus fucking Christ, does yeah. that really need to be in this? <laughs> I, like, I know, uh, Anna, you you actually go to the gym. I don't know if you use any like supplements like pre-workouts or, or oh anything. I, I don't actually. I just I just go to the gym. But if yeah. you if you go to like GNC or something. Pick up one of the pre-workouts and look at the back. It'll say, you know, not um, these statements are not approved by the by the FDA, but you oh, can yeah. still buy it. Yeah, it's all over the place on Jeez. these supplements. It's the same thing with homeopathic remedies. Why are we giving credence to homeopathy? It don't work. No, it, uh, it's it's the same thing as like prayer or religion, like. Oh yeah. It's just it's just gonna make you feel better about yourself. You know, I'll pray for you. You're just trying to make yourself feel better about my shitty situation. Yeah. In reality, that shit should be like probably illegal because it is misleading. But the only difference is like people some people believe strongly in it, so you know, it's like I mean, I mean, head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. (laughs) Fulfill what it's being sold as. You know what I mean? You 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 know head on was homeopathic, right? Yes, no, I know. It doesn't do anything, wasn't it? It it was it was just wax with a little bit of scent that you just rubbed on your head like a fucking it's a moron oh my headache's gone (laughs) but then again (laughs) oh holy shit there's a blow i i that's a borker all right i i i heard i heard rumblings of sasha that happens sometimes (laughs) you know sasha sees other dogs pooping in their yard you know it's bound to happen you know i i'm prepared for that Sorry about that. No, no, it's fine. She's it's she's, okay. she's all riled up. Mm-hmm. She's just doing a good protect. No, that's 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 totally fine. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the uh, placebo effect is is a thing. So like, you can you know, uh, you can apply it to you know a million different things, mm-hmm. like uh. Uh, for instance, if if I had someone in my house that you know was like is like really depressed, I'm I'm gonna be like, okay, well, I'm gonna you know take my take my firearm with me to work because I don't trust you. 
to, mm. to be around with it, you know? But if I just store it in a different place and then I come back and I'm like, hey, I never actually took it. All they think is, well, it's not there. It's the same thing. So it's just sort of thinking, okay, well, the, you know, the pain isn't there because I put hat on. And I applied mm -hmm. it directly to the forehead. So, yeah. There's there's also an opposite effect, but that's not super common. Yeah, As, I've no I've been a lab rat, so I know the stuff that I'm testing usually may be a placebo. But let me tell you, um, the lauded um, laid a lot of people out in that one study that I did. I mean, they were just laying there with cold compresses on their heads, just waiting for the pain to go away because yeah it gives a little bit of a headache yeah but yeah are you, are you like uh barney gumble from the simpsons being a lab rat with all the ears growing out of your chest no 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 <laughs> no um, I'll, I'll i'll be honest having been a lab rat i didn't have any bosses to worry about i all i had to do was not do anything for 30 days piss clean and get accepted that was that was it and i made oh, decent money sweet. yeah but a lot of those testing places have closed down over the last few years so it's because, really hard to make extra cash i mean i would i wouldn't be uh, as far as like that uh, um being like a lab rat mm -hmm. i'm really interested in the uh like the uh, nasa um what is it the like the mars isolation experiment to try and do that because mm. i like i need my own space but at the same time i would be interested to do that just to see you know just to give the give the results because you have to constantly test things you need more and more data oh, oh yeah like, and we, we can't get there if we don't have the data you know yeah like if you're if you ever decide to become a lab rat, anybody in the audience, you are going to be filling out a lot of informed consent paperwork, and I mean a lot. They want your history. They want everything. They want fucking. Are you allergic to this? Have you ever been diabetic? Does this run in your family? Those those sorts of things, right? I. Are yeah. you okay with discs being crammed into you? Are Would you, you like this? Yes. Okay. Good. It's it's more so. Are you okay <laughs> with having your blood drawn every five or ten minutes for a certain amount of time? Why are you gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? Why are you gay? Why, Why you do you gay? eat the poo poo? <laughs> <laughs> On this avatar looks like a tiny purple ghost. Oh my god, that's so. I, I didn't. I never saw it until now. It <laughs> kind of. It kind of does. I was gonna move. I was gonna move on, anyways. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, it kind of reminds me of. Uh, you know where it should be. Mm. Uh, like on the the building, like the symbol on the building to like Lavender Town. Oh mm. my god, that's fucking. That'd funny. Be, that would be fucking cool with that yeah. fucked up music in the background. Yeah. I, forget, I forget how it goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. Impression. That was a great impression of the lavender great. town music. That was great. <laughs> and now, for th for something conservatives got thing. pissed off at. Oh, is it something that exists? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Funnily uh, enough, it is. Yes. Was that skins on it? Oh, yeah. I mean, cool. So, uh, yeah, they really did not like this ruling. Uh, a U.S. district court judge ruled earlier this month that, a, that completely prohibiting illegal immigrants from possessing firearms is a violation of the Second Amendment. Um, under, okay, okay, the ruling issued on March 8th by Obama appointed District Judge Sharon jo Johnson Coleman pertains to the case of illegal migrant Herberto Car Carbajal Flores. Carbajal Flores was charged under Title 18 of U.S. Criminal Code, a measure preventing illegal migrants from possessing firearms. He had no criminal history of improper use of a gun and therefore, according to the court, did not present a public danger when exercising his Second Amendment right in Chicago in 2020. Uh, 
in her decision, Coleman cited the Supreme Court's ruling in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin, which found New York State could not constitutionally prevent anyone from carrying a pistol in public. The case, she, hmm. she said, established a framework for analyzing whether a challenged firearm regulation violates the Second Amendment. Um, that's pretty much it. But yeah, uh, the non-citizen possession statute, Title 18, violates the Second Amendment as applied to Carbajal Flores, the judge wrote. Thus, the court grants Carbajal Flores motion to dismiss. I, I love how conservatives forget about the well-regulated militia part until it comes to someone that they don't like. Yeah. So there are so many issues pertaining to uh, gun legislation that I'm not well-equipped to talk about all of them, but I can definitely say that people who partake in a little bit of tetrahydrocannabinol, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, uh, should not automatically forfeit their right to own a firearm permanently. And that came yeah. about with the Gun Control Act of 1968 because those fucking hippies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, there's, I mean, there's some weird overreach that happens every now and again. And so... It, and, you know, if you... If you been around firearms and you know about firearms and like one of the best things you can do is just take it take a gun safety course mm -hmm. just do it uh, i mean the people are going to like jump on you if you're unsafe they're just gonna be like no we're not gonna give you a firearm because it's a weapon it's meant mm -hmm. to hurt and kill that's its only purpose yeah. and you know um <clears throat> Like I always say, when the alcohol comes out, the firearms go away. And yeah, that's, that, that's that, a good rule. That's a good rule. You know, anybody, every, pretty much everybody I know understands that. And I don't know anybody that doesn't understand that because I distance myself from those people. So, and even when it's, you know, even if it's weed, uh, obviously, if it's like harder yeah. drugs like yeah. meth and coke and stuff like that, no, I'm not going to be around you if you're, you know, you're, yeah. you know, doing lines and you know, bringing out a firearm. I don't want to be around you. I ain't about that life. Yeah, that um, I. <laughs> but if you're just like, you know, smoking a few blunts, and you know, firearm comes out, you should have one person that has the state of mind to just be like, hey, man, let's put it away. We don't need to do that. Let's just like go and do something else. Let's go play some Monopoly or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, you know, let's watch I, a movie. I, gen generally, generally, if you okay, if you sign up for a medical marijuana card in any of the states that grant it, the ATF takes a look at that and goes, "Oh, well, you're permanently ineligible to ever own a firearm." Just automatically, when you agree to that, to receiving that card. It is an automatic implication that you're never allowed to own firearms. And it, I think it's stupid. Um, like, I, because I think it's stupid, too. It, it It's pretty much an undue burden at this rate. There's no Nobody's going to be, you know, having a fucking massive spliff in their hand and firing off and going, no. oh, yeah, I am so fucking blazed, dude. You know, that's I mean, I never going to fucking happen. I wouldn't say nobody, but but yeah, hardly yeah. anyone. Hardly anyone. All yeah. right, I'll I'll concede that. I uh, think I think it's just. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, we've yeah. had we've oh. we've been having close to like fourteen people watching for. for oh nice! For, so thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hey, hit that like button. Yeah, drop a like. This so like this it. this show is nothing without viewers like you. Thank you. <laughs> Eaton Park. <laughs> something 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 eating part all right know. so yeah <laughs> give me a moment here and then we'll go on to the third mm -hmm. one which i think you might find a little interesting well uh, uh i just want to say like as far as the like illegal immigrants mm -hmm. coming over and wanting to own firearms the 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 people that already want to do harm are already going to have firearms. Yeah. 
you know, and the the people that want to just have a have a job, live a life, live the American dream. Mm -hmm. they, they, if, they, they should be, you know, allowed to defend themselves. And yeah, it's you never know somebody's intentions. But then again, how many, you know, natural born American citizens have we seen that, you know, commit a mass shooting? Just then, I mean, look at yeah, just it, the last month. Let's we can look up, you know, story after story, statistics, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, a lot of people it's, love to distort those those statistics yeah. in order to arrogate uh, power and privilege around them and their group. That's that's how shit is done, apparently, yeah. which is mind boggling to me. But uh, speaking of arrogating power and privilege. We have this, and there will be a little bit of elaboration. Uh, to answer Mari's question, mm. we're we're waking up from the American dream. Yeah, pretty it's much. The, it's been the American coma for quite a while. It, listen, yeah, listen. Or... Just just like just like Carolyn said, the American dream is a dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. Yeah. And yeah. it's it's not unachievable, but it you're, is. you're you're not going to uh, you're not going to come out looking pretty pretty damn good. It's like uh, it's like running a marathon with two broken legs. Yeah, you know, can it be done? Sure. Are you going to? Are you going to be a real winner at the end? Probably not. No, at this at this rate, I think my generation and the coming generations are just trying to live life as best as they can without engaging in so much of the rat race nonsense. Yeah, it's it's bad enough that we're being gouged when it comes to groceries and essential everyday products. Yeah. But when it when it comes to houses, when it comes to acquiring an actual home, it is it is practically a pipe dream at this rate. If the average income in this country is maybe about eighty thousand dollars, and a house costs somewhere between four hundred and fifty to eight hundred thousand dollars, there's no catching up. You're you're not you're not going to get an immediate loan for that kind of shit. You will be waiting and waiting and waiting. And God forbid you have medical debt. Oh, yeah. Like, just because someone, you know, hits you with a car and you have to go through years and years of, you know, legal battles just to just for somebody to pay your medical bills and you haven't been able to work in that entire time. Like, well, where are you at? Are you really better off? In no, the you're not. At the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Howdy, Ashley. But you know, yeah, but so. hey, you know who makes a quick buck and isn't better than ever? The fucking the industry is making bank off you. Yep. Oh yeah, they they are nickeling and diming everybody to fucking death. It's absurd. with record high profits every year, every yeah. year, and yet, fuck trying to get a deal. You know. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Ashley? Hey. All right. Um. Let, let, let's uh. Let's let's, uh, let's get on to an interesting um tale of sorts and i guess i'll probably skim through this but it still bears in it still bears note at least to me bears fruit let's see. <laughs> supreme court debates whether texas councilwoman who says her arrest was politically motivated can sue the mayor several members of the supreme court on wednesday appeared to be searching for a way to let a retired texas councilwoman sue the mayor after she was arrested for removing a public document but after nearly 90 minutes of oral argument, it wasn't fully clear how the court would rule in the case, which could have consequences that sweep far wider than the small, small city political dispute at the center of the case. Sylvia Gonzalez was elected to serve on the Council of Castle Hills, Texas, but she only made it as far as her second meeting when a police officer tapped her on the shoulder in what she viewed as a negative way. She would eventually be arrested for stealing a government document at the meeting, a charge that stemmed from what she said was an inadvertent, inadvertent shuffling of papers and what city officials said may have been motivated by a cover-up. 
the case presented an important First Amendment question for the Supreme Court. When many people sue government officials for First Amendment retaliation claims, and when those suits barred by a legal doctrine known as qualified immunity that shields those officials from certain suits, when are they, that is? Normally, a person alleging retaliatory arrest must demonstrate police had not proven probable cause, but there's an exception. Police are not shielded from such lawsuits if officers often exercise discretion not to arrest, say for petty crimes like jaywalking. But unlike jaywalking, taking government documents during a city council meeting is a rare occurrence. Gonzalez's attorney said there's no way to demonstrate the police had let slide similar infractions involving others since there was none. Uh, <clears throat> several members of the Supreme Court, including uh, Gorsuch, seemed inclined to allow Gonzalez to submit additional evidence she says would document why the arrest was retaliatory. One of the questions is whether a defendant could present evidence that the crime had never been charged before. How many statutes on the books these days, many of which are hardly ever enforced, of course, to chest. You're saying they all they can all sit there unused except for one per person who alleges that I was the only person in America who's ever been prosecuted for this because I dared express a view protected by the First Amendment, and that's not actionable. Um, yeah, it is really weird. So what the document basically was, and I did read a little bit about this beforehand. You can thank Reddit, by the way. Um, the document is a petition. The document is a petition that was submitted to the public. Uh, yeah. When they it make it that, a public document? Yeah. It was that petition Gonzalez says she mistakenly put in her binder during the meeting. I had a clean record. I didn't even have a parking ticket. I was shocked as there was a warrant for my arrest. But attorneys for Trevino said Gonzalez did so after residents at the meeting accused her of misleading them about the nature of the petition. One resident accused Gonzalez of urging him to forge his parents' signatures according to court records. Police found probable cause to believe Gonzalez violated the law and apparently was motivated by a desire to avoid residents' accusations that she misleadingly solicited petition signatures. Um... They ultimately dropped the charges against Gonzalez. She sued in federal court, alleging retaliation and violation of the First Amendment, saying that city officials engineered a plan to arrest her and remove her from office. A district court denied a qualified immunity to the officers, allowing the case to continue, but Gonzalez lost the Fifth U U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, which held that there was probable cause to arrest her and that it ne necessarily defeated her retaliatory arrest claim. If that standard is embraced by the high court, her, her attorneys say it would greenlight government officials to arrest their critics under suspect circumstances. I'll let that sink in a little bit. Um, yeah. They, uh, the other attorney stressed police obtained a warrant that was reviewed by a judge who found probable cause based on a warrant application that detailed witness statements and security footage capturing the theft. But Gonzalez's attorney countered that what she framed as the mayor's retaliator efforts have heavily influenced that review process. So, yeah, essentially, mayors should not be allowed to launder animus through warrants. A little bit of chilling precedent being set here if, if right. that sort of thing is ruled. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, some yeah, interest. It, it, it's there's a little bit of intrigue. It's a little heavy, I admit, but it bears mentioning. I mean, this is for me. Go ahead. This is why it's important to vote on a local level, not just in a, on a federal level, because you don't want people like this who are going to who are going to do this and set precedent, because they're they're going to set precedent at a local level. And then it's mm -hmm. going to, you know, you know, that, bleed up. That, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, you don't want that those things to happen. And this uh, this woman doesn't seem to have violated anything. Yeah, if, if it was uh, if it was a mistake and she just like shuffled some papers and put them into her uh, put them into her binder and then walked out and then like. She went through and she's like, oh, shit, I have something that needs to go back. Mm -hmm. And she returns it. 
then she should just be kind of let go. Just like, oh, I well, I returned it. At, you got, I got home at six o'clock at night. Nobody yeah. was there. I returned as soon as the doors opened, and I returned the document, and I admitted my my guilt for the accident. Like, okay, there, you know, you could say, oh, well, did you copy it? You could put out warrants for, um, like, her, her computer and everything. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Go through the investigation. If you have nothing to hide, then, you know, uh, take the computers. Yeah. Go, go ahead and do it. But it's, it's just more of conservatives trying to like the uh, headline says, or uh, like the uh, thesis says, I guess, jail political opponents because... On, on very flimsy evidence, yeah. just, to, just to scare them out of things. Yeah, that is considered chilling speech in a way. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like we've seen that somewhere in history before. Mm -hmm. Where, oh man, where have we seen that? So... Spherical man, uh, is the document considered government property? No, not to my knowledge. N and the article doesn't say whether or not it is or not. If it was a petition, it would obviously be more public than private. And I don't think it would necessarily concern the government uh, per se. But considering that it is a petition of sorts... Um, with regard to names and such like that, there there may be some limit on that. I don't know if it, I, again I can't I can't say if it's government property or not, but it's being treated like it is when it probably isn't. So that's my take on it. I just want to read a little yeah. bit about that. Uh, let's pretend I had something intellectual to say about this. There you go. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll pretend you're intellectual. All right, cool. That's a, that was a great point, Hannah. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. I yeah. thought a lot about it. I wanted to make sure that if I said something that it was well articulated. Anyway, it, it was very so, well articulated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So <laughs> I did want to get Mango's take on this since she was slated yeah. to be here, but you know I, she was EP. I it it happens. I mean there 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 may be a time where I probably am very EP. I don't want to do anything. I just honestly so honestly mango would have a easy breakdown of all this shit she'd just be like so yeah according to all of this yeah um no this is technically illegal but it's gonna she would go on a she would go way more in depth she's she's very smart i'm not so I'm, i mean i i have okay <laughs> With some things, I do have a layman's knowledge. I have like a veneer of knowledge, but in other things, I, I've, I've had talks with fucking Dave before. It, I've, ew, it, yeah, it's it's not great. It's not great. You know that one that's titled "Absolve Your Sins with Daddy Dave." Like, I'm sorry. When did you turn into a priest? I'm. This this seems a little. I don't know. But did he get Heretical. scrambled eggs mad? No, he didn't get scrambled eggs mad. I, you know, I got to work on that. I got to make him matter. I don't think I'll ever get that angry again. <laughs> no, that that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> so that's that's a core memory at this point. Oh yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the only place where it exists, so we have to keep it alive. Dave cracks his egg. We got to keep those memories alive, or else oh, yeah. we'll die. The yeah. keepers of the memory. Yeah. So uh, it's it's becoming ap apparently clear that the uh, Republican Party is really trying to irrigate more power, especially against women's bodies, because this is what's happening now. Oh, uh, yeah. So they're endorsing a national abortion ban. Of course. And I this wanted to, I, I, again, I wanted to get Mango's take on it, but I have a feeling... This may pop up later. Oh man! In another Mangler. stream, we'll see. But yeah, you sh um, you should bring this up uh, next time Mango is on because she is going to have. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So much to say. Here's the thing. We could talk about it on Saturday, maybe. 
yeah, Saturday would be better because I'm not up during the mornings now. Because I like watching stupid morning bullshit. But since my ass is down at like five in the morning and she doesn't start show between uh, until like seven and nine or maybe ten in the morning, I'm not conscious. I'm just I'm out. I am trying to sleep. I got earplugs in. I don't want to hear a goddamn thing. And so, yeah, I'm not I'm not up right now to catch her show. But I will be, mark my words, someday, maybe in a couple of weeks. We'll see. So, yeah, uh, the House Republicans are clearly gunning for another national abortion ban, and they've whittled it down to 15 weeks now. We've, we've seen them haggle and negotiate and gripe and be concerned. Oh, 15-week, 15 15-week 15 national abortion ban. So, yeah. The Republican Study Committee, which includes nearly 80% of all House Republicans, released its 2025 budget proposal titled Fiscal Sanity to Save America, which is a load of shit because the Republican yeah. Party has never had any sense of fiscal responsibility because they spend, 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 and then the Democrats yeah. pay it down. Yep. They've been I mean, doing yeah, this for 40 Trump, years. Trump didn't do jack shit to fucking bring down the deficit. No, like, he didn't. Like no, there's he, there's no leg to stand on when it comes to that issue. It's like there there was, was nothing done during his fucking presidency. Maybe if there was some actual fucking change made, I'd be like, all right, that's one point for you. The but only then, the only change made was to the national debt, and he added at least five trillion dollars. And we're still going to be paying for those tax cuts that he passed in 2017, which don't benefit anybody who makes under four hundred thousand dollars a year. No. If you're making under that, you're paying more, and you're going to be paying more for the remainder of this decade. Yep. Nice going. Nice going, folks. Nice going. So, yeah, they've been going back and forth with this. Were they originally trying to say 25 weeks? No, they said 20. Yeah. 20, that's what it was. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and Trump was like, I, I agree to a 20-week. Uh, okay. Who cares well, they- what you're... Huh, yeah. They love to say like, "Oh, life, life begins at conception." All right, well, take that, uh, take that embryo out, and then put it into regular air. In order to be consistent, like you need to be, you need to say that life begins when you're fucking born. I don't know why this is a controversial yeah. thing to say that you know someone is born when they're born, but yeah, I don't, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know why so, it's a controversial thing to say. So. But, I, I have I have a few things that'll uh, shade in the gray areas of the Republicans and their belief system. So essentially, for the longest time until the 19th century, most people believed, religious as most of them were, that life began during the quickening, which is when the fe- when the fetus starts moving around. It's practically a baby at that point, but it just hasn't been born for Kicking. lack of a better term, it's ready to be born. Like, fucking ready to be born. The last month, okay? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I get what you're talking about. And then it became kind of this... Uh, it's there become was more of, nebulous over time, I feel like. Yeah, they've, they've gone all the way back and said, all right, well, life begins at conception. Well, here's the problem. Not every, not every egg is you know viable yeah not every egg is viable what these people are saying that is if if a woman has more than one period she's a fucking serial killer yeah what about the you know millions of abortions that are in the sock that are in my washer yeah (laughs) you know really nobody scream and save the sperm if you if you are not religious you have literally no even if you are religious, you have no good reason to believe this, right? Because it's not like the fucking Bible fucking talked about abortion. or uh, the, the, I, the Bible it, only in a very paltry handful of circumstances talks about uh, the fetus in a very abstract way. So if a woman is pregnant and pregnant. A, miscarriage, a miscarriage occurs by malice specifically it's not considered murder 
No, as a matter of fact, it's a calc from the Code of Hammurabi. A fine was levied by the father. A fine? A, a fine. fine. On the person that caused the miscarriage. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's not, right. not death. Not death. Just a fine. All right. Uh, give me a buck fifty. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was probably more like 30 shekels of silver yeah and, no it was something and, more valuable a, a very hefty amount yeah 30 we're, we're not we're not talking about 30 small coins we're talking about a, a an amount it, not ingots it's and a weight keep, keep in mind this is back when they kill people for just anything so yeah. like to not kill somebody yeah. for something means like damn god god has god has never indicated that there is a sanctity of life because the lord giveth and the lord taketh away so it's weird enough that religious people fell for this bullshit right but even people like fucking dave fall for this oh bullshit. yeah yeah, yeah. Be because again it's it's a it's a proof text for his belief it's tribalistic yeah. bullshit. even though he even though he's not a christian in the strictest sense he's still culturally ingrained with he's he's far right but he's yeah. so ashamed of it just like a lot of far right wingers that he won't admit to it. Exactly. Dave yeah. denies the place that the, the place in which religion still has a stranglehold upon our country. Mm -hmm. uh, the various ways in which the separation of church and state, which is very important and key to our country, has been eroded over the years. I mean, I pointed mm -hmm. out the example to him. Look at the fucking the most basic example. I, I can tell you that you look at every single fucking day. God's on our fucking money. <laughs> like it shouldn't be. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, and it, yeah. you 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 know the historical reason for why "In God We Trust" was put on the banknotes. Yeah, it was right? in the nineteen sixties, yeah. right? Because nope. you know the, those godless nope. commies. Nope, it was it was instituted in nineteen fifty six by Dwight Eisenhower mm -hmm. okay. because we had to buttress our belief in God against those godless heathen communists. I yeah, who that's, were striving to uh, yeah. destroy I knew, I knew the American that. way of life. You know, Th that kind that of was what I was talking worship. about. God yeah. damn it. You interrupted me for no fucking reason. <laughs> well, you just, he, that's I, 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 I got a, I got a little preachy in me. <laughs> hey, what's up? We got PT ham. Here. PT ham. I'm like, I, I'm all, I listen. I'm always tempted to read his name as part time ham. Part-time part -time ham <laughs> or paid time ham, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have some time. paid time with this a ham. Part, look, part time ham. Yeah, look it's, it. it's, it's beautiful. Silly. It's a beautiful ham. It's got a nice glaze on it. It's got a little mustard shit. Now I'm hungry. Uh, do you say mustard shit? <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you said mustard <laughs> shit. That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said mustard <laughs> shit. Right, now no, I'm no, hungry. No, There's you know a what? little. I'm sorry, you can't parse out the fucking English no, no. language. No, no, mustard, no. comma space. Yeah, Shit, mustard, I'm hungry. comma space. Look, I, look, I'm, I'm just saying. Look, you, you look at the end of the day. You, you said it. You said it. And you need to accept. You it. did say uh, mustard no, shit. I did what? not say mustard shit. Okay, not can we muster? Can we at, at least agree you were referring to a mustard plug on your ham? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You said mustard shit. <laughs> Just keeping it a buck fifty. Oh fuck you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. You're terrible. You're all rotters and I hate you. This is this is why I run my own my own stream. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm still on the learning curve here. Yeah, I'll be giving Heon full access to this soon. Yeah, we got once the training wheels come off. You know? Yeah. <laughs> hey, this this is still this is still pretty new. I yeah yeah. yeah. Give me some time, you know. But anyways, uh, I should go back to reading this real quick. Uh, the Republican Study Committee celebrates the Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization decision. Uh, it endorses a 15 week national abortion ban as well as legislation that could eliminate access to in vitro fertilization. Oh yeah, wow. I've I've heard about this debate. Yeah, so, uh, Republicans have actually like painted themselves into a corner because they have to either agree that uh, life begins at conception or uh, or not, 
essentially. And um, if life begins at conception, then in vitro fertilization, like if that child dies, then who is liable for murder? There's no way for them like, to stay consistent is the issue. Here. No, they, right. they've no, never they, really exactly. been consistent with the issue. No, like they, it's, one, they, it's one thing to be wrong be. and be consistent, but this is not even being wrong and being consistent. This is being wrong yeah. and being inconsistent, which is like the worst possible option ever. Yeah. In, in any scenario. But let's continue. So, yeah. Um, the RSC budget applauds a series of measures designed to advance the cause of life including the protecting pain capable unborn children. Well, uh, I, I am annoyed with the jargon that they employ because they're just duplicitous on so many levels. Protecting pain capable unborn children from late term abortions act. Okay. Yeah. I, I really wish. I really yeah, I wish I this is yeah. this is a good article for Mango. Oh I my god, yeah. Uh, yeah honestly, we'll I think we should leave it up on... to Mango. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll 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 we'll, we'll leave go over it to... this on Saturday. Yeah. yeah, send me the link. Uh, I will. DM. I will yeah. do that. You She's know what? going to absolutely rip this thing. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I'm about to go apoplectic with this. So but she's going to stay stuffing themes about this whole. Oh, oh yeah. the, the yeah. amount of themes. There might even be some thins said. It might be so many oh, themes that it'll evolve into thins. It'll be crazy. Here, uh, I'll do, I'll do my dual do do diligence here if I could fucking speak. <laughs> due diligence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you do the neck thing when you when you laugh like I... that? I. <laughs> And too sore to do the neck thing. I so too sore ooh. for my neck thing. I'm too sore <laughs> for my neck. Too sore for my neck. <laughs> so it's now it's now the fun part. It's now the really fun part of the show where do I it. take the piss out of Dave's cooking. Oh yes. Let's do it. Oh, we're gonna do it. We gonna do it. We gonna do it. Uh, yeah, there's also that alleged uh, scenario we need to discuss. I want, I definitely want Lizard to that's, take a look at that. That's that's on my queue. That's All on right. my queue. All right. Oh, uh, by the way, you can stop. Um, you can stop sharing that other. That if the intro is still being shared, I've oh. you know, I've had it. I haven't oh, brought yeah. it up or anything. But, I'll just. Yeah, you can just remove. remove. And I'll bring this up as well. All right. All right. So yeah, I'm going to dispense with the friggin' intro on these because it's going to get rattled around in my head. And I did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about doing another compilation of these, by the way. I finally publicized the last one I did, and I, I think I want to make another one. So we might so, be able to that on here. Next time. So I had a, I, I had a. OK, I'm going to ask one quick question. We already covered the sausage quiche, did we not? I think we did go over that. At least somewhere, yeah. Okay, you know what? I'll just fucking. What the fuck is happening? What is happening, man? All right. Well, you definitely haven't seen this shit, so let's take a look at this. Yeah. Why? Why do his fingers look like? Sorry, I don't. I don't mean to interject so quickly, but if you go back, have y'all ever seen that Futurama where? Oh my god. Uh, Zoidberg. Like sheds his shell. <laughs> yeah, he's got those like mitten hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Maybe his fucking hands he's, are just that stuck together from jerking he's off. Got, all that. He's got like harm hands. You know, <laughs> harm it's, hands. Yeah, he's got harm hands. Yeah, oh my god, you know what it reminds me of? What? Remember those fucking Hulk fists that kids used to get back in the day? <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Hulk hands? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Dave's god. got Hulk hands. <laughs> Dave's got fucking Hulk hands. How do yeah. you guys go? He he does. He's he's got he's got them big meaty fucking dick beaters <laughs> and he just uses it to make food and take Keep piss. Your fucking grubby little dick beaters off my onions. <laughs> oh my god. Dave's got fucking Hulk hands. Ew. I I am gonna say I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I called out Dave earlier in the 
in the comments of this, but I'll just reiterate later. Let's uh let's get on with yeah, the... let's quarantine you. Yeah. Welcome to Dave's Cooking Show. And Y'all can hear that today. We have yep. some Good. bacon wrapped German beer broths. <laughs> All right, first thing we got to do is Hit that full make screen. the marinade for the broth. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is one onion that I've just kind of roughly chopped up. And then you want to add three whole tablespoons onion. of steak sauce. Yeah, a whole ass onion. All right, Shrek. Let's no. Mm. Let's buckle in and take a look at this. Am I, am I, my mic go okay. okay. Why? All right. I go don't. Ahead. Go. Go ahead. And then you want about four cloves of minced garlic. Garlic. Majarlic. Yep, garlic. Of course. Uh, that's. Oh, uh, that right there. That's that's plenty. That's, that's plenty. That's about. I would say that's closer to six cloves. Mm -hmm. As someone who regularly chops his own garlic instead you of know, using it out of a jar. Knowing Dave's diet, I could totally see him being on from this point, just being like, "All right, now dig in." <laughs> are you? Are you ever gonna? <laughs> uh, did okay? Did you ever pester him about the jar coal? Uh, no, because all right, so. All right, so there, there's an update I need to give you about Dave real fast. Okay, since we're, uh -oh. since we're getting into this, um, Dave took some call-ins during a day which I was busy, and the day after that he he did another stream, in which he blue balled us the whole time and didn't take any calls at the end. Then he went on Twitch and fell asleep again. Oh Jesus my God! Fucking Christ! Yep, and Jake's fucking community had a whole fucking shebang oh. about it. Also, I, I don't know if Lizard's heard about this. I think I've, I've def almost definitely told Tian about this, but he got porn bombed a second time. Yes. He I think I heard about the porn bomb, which, don't do that, even if it's Dave. That's no, just I, shitty. I, I, I like, agree. I agree. I know. denounced that immediately after it happened. Like, I, I, it's technically funny, but at the same time, I really don't like that being done to anybody. Uh, like, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I, I got I got receipts, and I was like, I, I posted it in my in my server and even probably. basic like fundamental like, like um sim simple like it just brass tacks looking at the situation um th the reason why i'm against that shit inherently is not only because it can, can the it can get someone's channel taken down but mm -hmm. also i don't want someone to have to look at porn who doesn't want to have to look who doesn't want to look at it or yeah, shouldn't be looking yeah, at it that's, you that's know what true. i mean it, it, that's you never know who's watching it. exactly yeah, yeah exactly yeah. right and, and you like, never know they... where someone's watching something you know some fucking innocent bystander for, could, could be watching dave on the fucking tv and then bam vagina you know yeah, what damn I mean? <laughs> we we've all we, we've all said it like a thousand times before yeah. dave doesn't do that shit dave and is he, you know he's kind of a bit naive about it like he it's the second time it's like jesus christ dave how fucking stupid do you have to be to get porn bombed a second time why don't you fucking you have us have a list of things that you don't want on your fucking stream yeah i mean you can vet it first oh somebody sent me a video here let me scroll through oh okay yeah you're gonna porn bomb me too easy you know, it's oh, easy yeah. to miss some things sometimes. Like, that's that's fine. It's, like it's, I did not, not, not as, expect that. <laughs> it's the, not uh, as funny as thing. you know, snake in the ass, which is yeah. You know, if you're watching Dave, are you really an innocent? Well, some of us watch Dave to make fun of him. Like, yeah, you know what I mean, it's like it's not all fucking Dave kids watching Dave. Well, I do not claim to be an innocent air quotes. <laughs> yeah, however, sure, comma but... space. <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm not gonna dox people. I'm not gonna. You know a swat or you know porn bomb or anything it's the internet mm -hmm. come on guys let's let, let's yeah, have don't some porn, fucking don't porn fun. bomb anybody don't really listen. that's the the in shittification of the internet yeah it's, it's just a shitty thing to do yeah but let's let's, let's watch him ruin this let's uh let's let's watch him ruin food, food. yay <laughs> And then you want to add about two and a half teaspoons of paprika. That was about three. And now it's time to add a couple of Yeah, he didn't uh, even get it right. German yeah. Beers. <laughs> Again, um, he never gets it right. I've oh, got to put some beer in there, of course. Ten brats yeah. In mind. Well, it's part of the recipe, at least. For, for, those, right. for those of you wondering what type of beer he put in there, it's a vice beer. Is it the part where he just drinks it down? I... I <laughs> 
Probably. Oh, he's already had. <laughs> yeah, he bought a six pack. He, he's yeah. using the last two. Oh no, I meant the entire week. contents of the bowl. Oh yeah. <laughs> Honestly, oh, this if, tastes really spicy. Yeah. If he had any charisma or presence, like he would actually just take the bowl and just slop it down. As yeah, just a I joke. Know. <laughs> but no. Yeah, no. He's not. Um, he's not that type of entertainer anymore. Maybe yeah. he yeah. thinks he's serious. Spherical man, you know it's not going to be dank. It's not going to be dank. He's not going to add no, Doritos to it. No, 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 no. He's going to be basic white bitch, Dave. Okay. There's, there's no dankness in. Dave's yeah, there's person. absolutely he's zero dankitude. Yeah. It, it is bereft of dankness. It, it, it <laughs> is, it is, yeah. It is, it lies with all the other empty Dorito bags, broken and alone. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Just like well, Dave. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's the perfect representation of who created it. That's amazing. Yeah, he's he's not down with the dank. No, he's not. The old but... dank and spank. <laughs> so, okay, that's enough out of you. No, no. <laughs> You're horrible. You're no, horrible. Like, come on. The old dank and spank. No. Nobody, nobody does that. Well, maybe Cobes, but... Just keep it at a buck fifty. <laughs> oh my okay. god, fuck off. <laughs> and it and is and is pulling a full billy taking over mm-hmm. the stream. Uh, I, 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 I allow it in so far as it's funny. Okay. All right, yeah. Yeah, it, it fits so, at least. That's the last muddy, <laughs> muddy. It's it's not a beige dish. It is bacon wrapped German beer brats. And you're gonna you're gonna see how he fucks it up here. He, he he's he's fucked this he's fucked the dish six ways for fucking Sunday already. Watch. Certainly work for less. Uh, any more, I'd probably add a little bit more to this recipe. Just adjust. It is a marinade. It doesn't have to be super accurate. Anyway, that's the type of beer we're using. So I added two. And then you just want to give this a quick little stir. I I would. I'm sorry. Okay. I might be being a little go, go nit, ahead nitpicky about this. Dave, don't ever pour me a fucking beer. Yeah. So I uh, you think that someone who drinks so much would be better at doing that? Yeah, you think he'd actually have his pour down, but unfortunately, like, it's more of a down. He's got pour. a very poor pour. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Beyond hit the nail on the head. Man. Yeah. Fuck. So, um, for for those of you who might not be familiar. Uh, these are not brats you would get from a butcher. Nope. These are Johnsonville brats. And you know yep. how I can tell? Yellow uh, packaging. Yep. The shape and the color of the styrofoam packaging. Yes. Mm-hmm. I I pegged it immediately. You what? I pegged it immediately. Uh, I, yes. I, I, okay. <laughs> I, uh, no, 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 no. Were you no going moral. to say were you going to say something lascivious? No, I wasn't going to say anything. I was. Uh, uh, I, I doubt that. Empty-headed thoughts. Uh huh. Anna, you should come to the mill stall and see how many sausages Heon can take. Shut the fuck <laughs> up! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Honestly, I was impressed. <laughs> All right, stop middle stalling. Let's continue. That's on. L- that's, l- that's low <laughs> praise. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Uh, hit the play button. <laughs> yeah. Hit the See button. Here we yeah. got our brats. And he pokes and them already. Poking, uh, why? Because he's dumb. Ah, why is he just going uh, at it? A little bit of that marinade seep on. He's, why is he just well, going at it? <laughs> he's just penetrating those sausages. He's forking them to death. Yeah, my <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't sound your sausages, folks. Yeah. It it, <laughs> it doesn't sound pretty at all. Man. All right, as you can see here, uh, after I poked all the brats, are you really surprised um, that Dave treats his sausage like a large plastic uh, bag? (laughs) Honestly, now that you bring it up, nah. Yeah, Yeah, he bashes them fuckers into oblivion. Hagging it, wagging it, chopping that meat. (laughs) (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) So, so Ashley asked, "Is Johnsonville any good?" It's it's all right. It it does the trick in a pinch. If 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 you're really looking for a sausage to like, I, I just boil mine. It's fine. But yeah. If, you, if you're, if you actually want like 
something good, go to a butcher regardless. Yeah. But yeah. If, if you're just going to the grocery store, you're not going to miss out. It's the, it's kind of more the level of uh, sodium or salt. So the store brand is going to have a lot more salt. And then the Johnsonville is going to have a little bit less and a lot more flavor. So he's not wrong in doing what he's doing, but bro, I thought you like worked in a butcher shop. You should be able to go and get a fucking butcher. You're Mr. High Speed fucking big ball and go and get some goddamn real sausage. I, 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 I have I have to. I, I have to take issue with that. He's not Mr. High Speed. Have you oh, seen no. how long it takes him to get from the doorway to the chair? Oh, I've I've counted Penguin his push-ups. waddle faster. <laughs> I counted his push-ups. We're still at zero. Yep, zero. <laughs> and are we counting anymore? I don't think so. No, no. He's he quit doing that. Yeah, he <laughs> he got winded. <laughs> Anyway, let's watch him fuck up these sauces. <laughs> oh, God, he's, he's going to fuck them up. In the marinade. Now, uh, obviously, you want to get all the air you can out of this marinade, slosh mm -hmm. it all around, and then leave it in the fridge for six hours to up to 24 hours. I opted for pretty much the full 24 hours. I left it uh, in the fridge overnight. And so, um, yeah, let's put it in the fridge overnight and we'll be ready for the next step. Yep. Now, and we're going to leave all of those onions to on this, top. But I thought the level thought. was a little mm -hmm. bit too low. You are an idiot, Dave. So you added, okay, you're adding what? Budweiser to German to beer. beer. Yeah. Seriously, Budweiser? Excuse me, what the fuck? Budweiser? Pudweiser, this pud's for you. <laughs> I, wait, I thought you were the first one I ever fucking heard say that. Fucking here. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. I am a big proponent of Carlin. He, he, yeah, he, he, he came up with it. I'm. He called it Pudweiser. <laughs> yeah, he, well, he, he came up with this pud's for you. Oh, okay. Me and George Carlin share a birthday. May oh 12th. wow. May twelfth. Yep. It's a good month. Yeah. It is. It is a good month. It'll uh, be a good month when I don't see snow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you. For fuck's sake. I, I have to blow leaves in the snow right now. I fucking hate it. Stupid fucking. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Fuck it's, 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 it, I fucking. <laughs> it, it's, it's astronomical spring now, and we're supposed to be getting a shitload of snow. Asshole. All this spring. weekend. Like. Wow, where were you during the months of December, January, and February? Oh, you weren't even fucking around. February. February, yes. February, yeah. Yes. <laughs> anyway, moving along. <laughs> oh, my God. Slow for that. So I topped it off with uh, a Budweiser. That's stupid. Topped it off as Bud. To the boil. And then you want to reduce the heat. And then you want to simmer the <laughs> Oh, yeah, just shake the foam out of the goddamn minutes. thing. <laughs> yeah, that foam is really necessary. Pretty much yeah. on their way. Oh, so, focus, Dave. Uh, this focus. This process takes, <laughs> I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes total. So, again, bring it up to the boil, reduce the heat, simmer 10 minutes. All right. Those onions Alrighty. are not going to now boil. Our brats no. have simmered for 10 minutes. We've drained they're going to have some raw the, ass onions. Our, our, uh, Fished out what? Uh, our brats. Oh, you're doing this? Now it's time to wrap them. Yep. Bacon oh, wrapped. Bacon wrapped. Yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. Somehow I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just just, oh, wait till, just wait till you see the fucking end product. Just right. wait. Just wait. I can already tell you. Mm -hmm. that oh, I, yeah. I already know. The, okay. That one piece of bacon could go around that entire sausage if you actually wrap it properly, he's not going to wrap it properly because it's in a straight line. Mm, yeah, watch. Just watch. You, you'll you'll, to. you'll get to see his adhesion method. I'm in baking, and you accomplish this by piece of bacon, little toothpick. And <laughs> Dave knows how to handle those. 
<laughs> Zip. <laughs> Got him. Uh, just make sure that before you eat the brat, you remove the toothpicks, or you're going to have a crappy time. No comment. Okay, as you can see here, I've got the. I'd rather eat the toothpick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least they'll be fucking cooked evenly through. Yeah. <laughs> at least I'll know I'll get some nutrition out of it. <laughs> yeah. The uh, old kettle grill set up for indirect heat. Uh, for this, you do want to use charcoal briquettes because if you use lump charcoal, the lump charcoal will not last long enough. For this low and slow process. That's why you need charcoal, and Dave. Exactly. I was about to say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> directly grill these because the bacon grease will be so much that you'll just incinerate your brats. Oh, I yeah, made that mistake right, once. Handle that meat. Once. So yeah. basically you just want to get a good grip on the direct, sausage, nice, Dave. Low and slow. We're looking for about 375. Use proper foam. And then uh, there's a first the time way, for everything. Treat your <laughs> sausage right. You know what? There's first. not a first time for what? Apparently, cleaning your fucking grill. Yeah, <laughs> still waiting said... on that fucking clean grill. No, no, no. He says that that's not good. It's he's rusty. Explained... He's explained why he thinks that's not good. He thinks that um, you know, it, it, it'll it'll make him like uh, eat metal shavings if he does that. Oh, that's uh, if you use know. the metal brush to clean them off. Like, there's more than one type of yeah. Brush there's de there's that. definitely other ways to clean yeah. it. He's just lazy. You know how rare that shit is. I have used the metal brush on my grill, like, for I don't know, three years now. Never had a, a like a, a metal piece get into my food. Yeah, he's just but, he's making a mountain out of a molehill. He just doesn't want to clean his grill because he's a lazy piece of shit. Exactly. And there's no that fucking too. airflow between those goddamn brats. Yep. Especially those two right there. Right, those ones. I hate when people... Like, how can you call yourself a fucking cook if you can't even do the fucking basics of spreading shit out? This is the first thing you, you learn when you're making food. You gotta also, spread shit out of it. <laughs> also, yeah. you, you have to wait until the coals are actually gray because a lot of those coals are black and what you're going to get is the taste of the coal onto your brats yeah you're going to taste yeah. the heat not the meat exactly <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're not wrong I know you're, making a joke, but you're not wrong <laughs> it's 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 true like you have to it it's better to put more charcoal in and mm -hmm. get it really fucking hot and make everything gray. And then you get uh and then you get that nice heat on your meat. Like that that's nice that, that, that's simple meat. charcoal cooking, dude. What the fuck? You it's already fucked. I mean, I mean it was fucked up from the beginning. Oh yeah, yeah. The I cooking mean process. I mean Dave's process is probably putting like icy hot on his balls and shaft. That's his process at this rate. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, he only needs that little dime-sized piece right on the, his index finger. Yeah. <laughs> to cover the whole area. No. <laughs> Gee, how'd you finger that out? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is wrong with you people? This is a good Christian family show. We're since when? About... Since fucking when? Since episode one, I think. I don't know. I didn't watch. It. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I I, I I fell asleep. <sighs> Outer state Not... broadcast. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Central state broadcasting. We're professionals. <laughs> we are. <laughs> I guess. Better than hope. Coat hangers, folks. <laughs> better than coat i need man i wish i had the file for that so yeah i didn't have to yeah. switch over to the geek room every single fucking time i wanted to use it yeah we're gonna have we're gonna have to you know find a way it's we're better than to. coat hangers isn't it? better than coat hangers folks all right let's continue and all that Hit wonderful play. fat just gets rendered in there so we'll check on them in about oh i'd say an hour you can add some and chat. if you want to uh, to it as well, if you want to give it a little bit of a smokier flavor. All right. All right. Well, that is a plate of fucking turds. That is not... <laughs> that is poop from a butt. 
R slash poop from a All right. <laughs> so, I remember how I said I was going to do another fucking cooking compilation? Yes. Yes. This is definitely going to be featured in it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Please. Um. So, wait, wait, wait. You can't end it here. You know what we need no, to do. No, no. Right? We, I'll, I'll finish it out. I'll finish all it right, out. All right. Yeah. Let's that's really it. it. That's what the end product should look like. So, that's uh, bacon German beer brats. Done. Yeah, you there we go. Remember, remove those toothpicks before you eat the broth. I hate when he says something afterwards. No, once you say done, it's over. I, I, oh once you say God. no, I want. I need to say this, Dave. Once you say done, it's fucking over. Okay, you're not allowed to say anything else after you say done. Once you yeah. say done, it's you're done. Over. You're done. You're Honestly, done. If. If he took it, if he took just a small note from you, he would just do the sweet zoom in, yeah, done, yeah, and then yeah. credits roll. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It should, That's be, it. it should be one and fucking done. Say so done and done. done. Yeah. 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 So yeah, he, he should and, do the zoom. Yeah. And I, I swear to God, Mari, if you ever come to the U.S. and you and I meet. I will not make you that, but I will make you actually good food. That is not that, because that is not American food. That is Dave sucking. At- yeah, I guarantee. I guarantee there are a lot of people, especially on this panel, who could make better food than Dave with their fucking oh. eyes closed. Oh, oh my god! If Mango were here, <clears throat> oh yeah, oh god, oh. I can't even make a wide variety of food, but what I can make, I can make pretty damn good and more consistently good than Dave can make it. I'm yeah, confident in that. by far. Yeah, that's what I, I, you know, I'd challenge him to a cooking contest, but last time someone did, he forgot that he, they they did the contest. So, yeah. so I, I had yeah. to cook. Uh, I was just gonna say I had to learn how to cook mm. for myself, otherwise I was gonna eat out of a microwave. And yeah. I don't want to eat out of a fucking microwave. Oh, I God, love my grill. In. No, because dude, the the crock pot, the instant pot, the the grill, those are mm-hmm. my go tos. And I swear to God, I will. You, anybody comes to my house, first thing I'm going to ask you: are You hungry? Are you thirsty? What do you want? We're gonna go and eat. If even if you're like, oh, I just want a burger. You're gonna have a fucking fantastic burger with pickles, 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 butter, pickles. butter. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not the butter. <laughs> oh, so, Mari, no, Dave's cooking does not equal American food. Yeah, it nope. does not. No, no. Dave, don't don't take don't take tips from that Norwegian recidivist knucklehead. Okay, it's. I'd rather have C rations. I'm so tired of. I'd fucking... rather have K rations. <laughs> K rations today. Oh my god! From when they were made. <laughs> oh. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like MREs. I'm weird. I accept that, but I don't eat them constantly, and they are expensive. It's a whole new type oh, of ex- special K. They're expensive as shit. But oh yeah, delicious. 190. Oh, I love me some MREs. 190 for 12 meals. Oh yeah, either A or B. Like, mm. get you that Southwest beef and back black beans. Mm. Oh, yes. I want that jalapeno uh, cheddar patty. God damn it! I haven't had that one yet. Uh, I'm I'm still All waiting right. for it. All right. I'm so okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Moving along. Moving along. Yeah. <laughs> Let's no, not let's Kate's let's... rations. <laughs> no, not sorry. Kate's... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm distracting. That's my bad. <laughs> okay, okay. So there's something we're gonna cover here. Dave apparently um has an issue with bladder control. Yeah, he allegedly urinated himself. Yes, yes. And this for some reason is just silent, so yeah. The lines go silent. Yeah. Let's take a look. All right. Let's see. Is there a smoking pun here? We'll find out. 
Look at him waddling. He's I'm going to close the door. He's still pregnant. That's part of the video. I was like worried for a moment there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, thanks to Iron Gold, by the way. Yep. Special thanks to Iron Jelly. He's still fucking pregnant. Man, when is he going to like get it aborted? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to do the satanic honors? Oh, the my fuck God. Dude, that, 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 fucking, that, that fucking thing is just poking out. Oh, my God. I, yeah, I That's get it. That's not I'm, a stupa. That's his stomach. I'm trying not to think about it too much, okay? <laughs> uh, we're cursed. <laughs> it's kind of hard to not think about when that's the only thing in the frame right now. Oh, dude. <laughs> like, what the fuck is he? Did you just take what did off? he put down? I, uh, he put down a whole bunch of books and papers and shit. Some craft mac and cheese. Uh, those are really crafty. Is the oh. egg scrambling mad? No. I think he's, I think he's pissed drunk. Yeah, you know, I think that Piss he's himself fucking drunk. Yeah. Chair pissing, yeah, chair pissing drunk. Yeah. Well, you know what they say, it's better to be pissed off than pissed on. Where the fuck is he? I don't know. He hides. He hides from the camera for a moment. He, he hides turns... from the camera for, a and moment. then he turns the light off. Whoa! This is weird. Mm -hmm. What the fuck's going on? Dave. Was this? Wait. Was this after Dave. he fucking woke up? I, I don't know. Okay. I'll have to ask Iron Gullet for the context. Yeah. This is fucking if... wild, bro. <laughs> I go away for like two days from Dave, and he ruins his life again. If you can't see your penis, you got diabetes. What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck? What? What the fuck? The fuck? Come on. What? Is he like... Is, he... is his I... cirrhosis fucking with him? That would be a thing. And then he, yeah, he keeps holding his gun. Yeah, that's right, spherical man. And then something happens here. Did he pull a quartering? No, because he didn't ostensibly piss in a corner or a bucket. Like, this, it's still going. Yeah, it's what? still fucking going. Yeah. What the fuck? This is fucking huh? weird. This is eerie. Did he piss himself? The world may never know. I think he might have urinated himself. There this is man... no, there's no real smoking gun, but <laughs> it's not really smoking, nor is it a gun. Like we don't actually see the urine, but it's kind of like when uh when I speculated that he sharded himself. Oh yeah, yeah. When uh, I did a little audio sleuthing and yeah, yeah. heard a bunch of grunts, like what the fuck? Yeah, so like no smoking gun, but I, I mean, I'd be willing to believe it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. All right. I like, dude, yeah, I, I have never been so like three sheets, seven sheets to the wind. <laughs> Yeah, that I, I I've actually like peed the bed or peed myself or anything. I've never done that. I've been fucking gone at certain points throughout oh, my I, life. I've, I have been but, so tra I've been so trashed that like I couldn't walk or see straight, and I still made it to the bathroom not once, not twice, but thrice, and I, I didn't I, miss. Okay. Dude, I, the, this, this is bad. Like, this, I, I actually feel bad for him. I because dude is, I don't, I don't feel bad for him because he's a piece of shit. I feel bad for him because he can't get his shit together. Does that make sense? Yeah, he's just pissing around. Wah, 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 wah. Ah, god damn. <laughs> so yeah, uh, mystery piss theater. Ooh. Where we find out Dave has a piss kink, but he just doesn't tell anybody. 
Yeah, so he's, he's the only one that's got the kink in his house. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, you gotta work that some bitch out. You know, you gotta satisfy it some way. Yeah. yeah, you just you just gotta hit your taint so that way you know that those final couple drops don't you know stain your under drawers. Yeah, I tell you what. I tell you what. Boy, I tell you what. I'll tell if you, you got what. a kink in your hose, you need to hit your taint. So you don't have those huge drops in your hose. You know what? <laughs> the joke writes itself. I, I'm not even <laughs> the right. joke right. You know what it is? <laughs> those God dang video games. I'll tell you what. My name is Hank Hill, and the first thing you need to do is subscribe to No, yeah, I can't see that. Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Feared at the last moment. Nope, I can't say that name. Nope. Uh so subscribe what? to Central State Broadcasting. I'm Hank Hill from Strickland Propane. I, I sell propane and propane I accessories, propane and I endorse propane. this message. Beat your meat, <laughs> not the heat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. But not in my tool shit. All right. <laughs> All right, Mr. All right. Anderson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Well, um, is there anything else that we have? I don't have anything slated, but that could change. Uh, give me a moment here. I might throw in one more Dave's cooking. Oh my lord. Oh no. Not Dave's oh, cooking. Dear. Dave's cooking. Boy. Oh, all the the three dips made by one drip is not happening until tomorrow. All right, this tomorrow. time this, this time include the fucking intro. Okay, okay, goddamn. Yeah, I've got strong bitch, feelings towards the intro. Bitch, 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 bitch. I want Look, man, I've been doing brunch for like three years. Do we have to do the intro? Do yeah, we well, have to? Yeah, yeah, but I have a lot to say about it. <laughs> uh, I, 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 bet you, I bet you do. If you can believe it, after three years, I still have a lot to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say a pun? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, um, there's definitely yeah. a pun said to that. What's one we haven't covered? None. We've seen all this bullshit, and you know it to be true. Well, I was hoping that the three dips would be ready. <laughs> uh, no, the, the, the three dips aren't ready until tomorrow. Because Can we at least he... Let's at least show off this thumbnail real fast. I'll show it. How, how about... How about... Uh... There it is, three Yeah, dips. the three dips. And then there's a comment still there, three yep. dips made by a large dip. A large drip. <laughs> a large drip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, and then, it's not, then okay, it's not like Slabby's large drip. I know okay? this is not actually AI-generated, but it gives me like the, the feeling of an AI-generated image for some reason. Honestly, it, it may be AI-generated because AI has gotten so good in the last... Uh, like it's it's st it's still missing quite a bit. Well, actually, I think someone um like did like the did some testing on this and found that it was not uh, likely not JI generated. Um, Does it matter? Because it's weird. <laughs> Does it matter? It's Does it? Matter? I mean, it's it, it's weird that he's so like anti LGBTQ plus. But mm -hmm. then he has all of these lesbians. Lesbian. Lesbian. He paid a good five dollars for that intro. Yeah, he paid a good yeah. five bucks. <laughs> yeah, that, that intro that has been doing skate. a lot of heavy lifting. Oh my god, it's 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 been doing so much heavy lifting, its arms are about to give out. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> damn. I, 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 okay. Did we ever cover the gnocchi with a lamb ragu? What Beautiful. the fuck are you talking about? I don't gnocchi. even know. Gnocchi with the lamb ragu. No, let's take yeah. a look at it. I've never heard All right. of it. Before. All right. You might have heard it pronounced gnocchi. Gnocchi. It's gnocchi. It is gnocchi. But yo, yo, <laughs> yo, yo. crap out a better AI thumbnail than okay. that. Uh, okay, Mr. Hyam. <laughs> Listen here, Mr. Lizard. Hey, yeah, you know, Spherical Man. I, I got like a I got like a massive fucking comment on my video recently, Spherical Man, from fucking Brandon out of nowhere. It was kind of like completely unrelated fucking video. And he was just like, oh man, AI, AI. It's not gonna replace real artists. And I'm like, I never said it was going to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look at the gnocchi with a lamb ragu. Yeah, let's take a look at this to wrap this shit up. All right. And just for you, and just for you, I'll include the fucking intro. All right. Good. Because we have a lot to say about it this time. Oh, this is terrible. All right. So what do you think that's supposed to represent here? Um, <laughs> give, give me your silly little analysis of what you think that's supposed to represent. So, so the logo is basically a person being given relief by Tums in the form of like these two tablets of water that splash over the logo, <laughs> but it doesn't, so but it doesn't work. So it becomes basically like an acid reflux. All right. Like, yeah. Let's take it from the top and see it with that perspective. Yeah. yeah. One, one more again. Yeah, let's take a look at it. <laughs> with new eyes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I think you might be right. Yeah. Can I, and, can and I then, give and, my two cents? Yeah, go ahead. I I think it's uh Dave's greasy hands clapping his one ball. <laughs> what? Excuse me, baking powder? What? <laughs> yeah, he's got a singular ball. It just it just sort of hangs there. If he only you know? had one ball, we'd fucking hear about that by now. David has only got one. He'd ball. brag about it. <laughs> You're not wrong. You'd somehow find a way to <laughs> brag about it. Oh, oh, uh. I've got more testosterone than you with only one ball. It's one like, dude, ball. Jesus Christ, I'm glad <laughs> I have two. Look at yourself. <laughs> one ball to lose it all. Hair and everything. Ew. Balling. All the hair and alcohol. <laughs> That's what Dave was doing in the dark. What? <laughs> oh hell! <coughs> oh my god, that's terrible. All right. All right, let's let's get on with the. Yeah, let's get people. into it without further ado. Yeah, yeah. Without let's get into this Bible ragu. study that you guys were goading me on about. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. Take your word, it's a little too rich for my stomach. Still. It's okay, just a bite. I think it's a lamb ragu. It's just a scoop of cold regard. <laughs> Welcome to Dave's cooking show, and for you today, we're bringing and he's again, fucked it up from the realm of fantasy into reality. Hard to do that fast, but yeah, lamb <laughs> yeah. ragu naki. <laughs> Naki. He says uh, Naki. It's Nyoki. Whatever. Anyway. You uh, expect him to pronounce that right? So no. Off, we have one uh, pound see, I'll of... give him this. Dialect over intellect. <laughs> I mean, just... yeah, that, that that does bear out for Dave, yeah. I mean, uh, well, my, my mom calls it Naki. I know it's Nyoki, but it's like, I, I'm from the the midwest or i'm from northeast ohio so we say knocky knocky on wood let's that, just watch the video yeah I, yeah is that, <laughs> is that asshole cooking shows pot no it's a little more florid and a lot more yeah, it's white at least <sighs> clean yeah it's, it's at least clean yeah it's a lot more caucasian <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Anna. Oh it's getting because it belongs to Dave. Uh, All right, uh, let's continue. Ground lamb, a couple of uh, tablespoons of olive oil are in there. And uh, basically, we're just going to brown this up. Seasoning, of course, with salt and pepper. Break it up with your fucking hands, you uh, yeah. it is to this And get step. the oil hot. And once it's done... Well, that looks wow. like shit. Wow. It's, it's well turds. overcooked. Oh my turds. god, he keeps making fucking turds. <laughs> it's like um, Satan right, came look. out and squatted a loaf right in the colander. Yeah, this is sausage. Eat hey, up. The Dave shitting show. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. <laughs> let me let me give you a little bit of uh experience from myself. So I work landscaping, right? I, yes. You know, and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of time, 
now nowadays i have to go and pick up sticks and it's really fucking cold so what happens is you know the water freezes and it'll push the dirt up but it'll also push up you know the the fresh dirt that the the worms make mm-hmm. right and that oftentimes freezes and it looks like little little dog turds but you can tell it's worm turds if you you know <laughs> worm it, turds it, I mean, worm turds if you if cuz they're they're going in and out from you know the the rain the snow the melting yeah, I, whatever I it, it, it looks just dig. like this it looks exactly like that mm-hmm. it is fucking disgusting and this is so goddamn overcooked because he's going to have to cook it twice it should be a little bit of pink in the middle it shouldn't be so overcooked yeah. because this is just going to come out as dry yeah he got it's rid of just, just, he put it into a colander and he got rid of all of the fat. Yeah, the the thing that gives the sausage the flavor. Jeez, like Jesus Christ! Come on, this all right. Is, this is lamb. The, oh, lamb. This is lamb. Okay. He 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 fucked up lamb. That's expensive as shit. Yeah, lamb is not cheap. No, it's pretty it's much not. on par with bison. Yeah, which and by the it, way, goddamn, I love bison. It's on par with, like, seafood. Yeah. For me, at least. But, yeah. Um, Doesn't Dave rinse off his cooked ground beef? How Mm. dare you, spherical man? No, I don't know. But if he he did, I would have to um, question him severely. That's that's an asshole cooking show reference. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, don't remind me. Don't remind yeah. me. He just yeah, just dump the entire fucking thing in garlic powder and onion powder and shit. Oh yeah, well we need uh minced onion. Yeah. Not, not the onion oh yeah. Powder. He made the lamb look like shitty taco meat. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, and- uh welcome to Taco Bell. Can I fuck up your order? The Dave's pooping <laughs> show. <laughs> Welcome to Taco Bell. How may I cause you to shit uncontrollably today? Do you think that's? Do you think this is what was in his pants that time? You, you <laughs> called him out. Man, we have made so many jokes about just this fucking one frame. Like, all right, let's continue. Okay, okay. Transfer to a colander, drain it, and set aside. And to the same uh, Dutch oven that we cooked our lamb in, time to add mirepoix. Uh, That's basically one carrot that I diced up, one celery stalk that I diced up, and one onion that I diced up. Those uh, aren't diced, those are chopped. uh, Yeah. Here if you want. Not even finely Um, chopped. No. And basically you're going to want to cook this why wouldn't she put the fat in there? Not, you know, totally brown. Yeah. Cuz he had he, he so, had the uh, lamb fat in a bowl. Why wouldn't yeah. she put the lamb fat in there so yeah, that you get that extra flavor? Fucking wow, he's he's raring to go on this one. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm going to Bland Town. Hashtag wow. Dave. Mayo is spicy, Dave. Jesus fucking I, hate I, know, I know, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. It's such it's such a clusterfuck already. Jesus Christ. Ten minutes. Um, then you're gonna want to add two cloves of garlic that are minced up. I don't know if I shot the garlic being added, but there we go. Okay. Okay. Wow. Unfortunately, I'm still kind of learning wow, the that's a stew. with this new uh that looks unappetizing. Camera. So obviously, I there have been some skips stepped over. Dave's cooking uh, is on that DDD on fucking dumps diary and fucking wait, what? <laughs> did you did everybody hear that? No, take it back. I didn't hear. Go that. back ten seconds. Just all, all you have to hit, hit is the uh, yeah uh, the J it's, and K it's, button. It's it's it's, it's touchy. Uh, camera. So obviously, I there have been some skips stepped over. Uh, after <laughs> some skips, <laughs> some skips stepped over. <laughs> wait a minute! 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 
dude, there's no fucking way. I did not just hear that. Yeah. I did not just one, hear one, that. One more again. So, obviously, I there have been some skips. Hit the J over. button. Uh, after You missed it. You missed it. I don't have to hit the J button. I have, you do. I I have the arrow button. keys. Hit the J button. The, uh, the arrow keys go back five seconds. The J and L button go back ten seconds. And then the comma and period buttons yes go i know i know i had i had to hit the I had, J button. I, had, I had to teach anna about the comma and the period anna yeah i, I didn't know uh, what look did, the first did time did i got Keon my teach you about your period the first time i got my time of the month it was, it was difficult you know i, I and, and and no one was there to actually be supportive of me so, so anyway comma J. let's continue yeah, <laughs> for about you know <laughs> ten minutes, uh, ten to fifteen minutes, I uh, added the lamb back. I also uh, deglazed the pan with one cup of uh, red wine, and you just kind of want to simmer this a again. Don't be intimidated by a ragu. It it does take time, a ragu, but it is really simple if you just follow the steps. So again, you didn't do this a couple yeah. minutes. Uh, you want to reduce the wine. Didn't even follow your own steps. Half. Listen, we, we know that Dave does this first without commenting because he's usually piss ass drunk. And then he goes back and post and adds what he says should be done later. And all of that shit that's on the side of the yeah he doesn't he doesn't fucking move it down you fucking oh my god this dick it's... liquor <sighs> anywho ha <laughs> the the lamb is just so overcooked yeah it's it's gonna be drier than fucking any woman Shoot. that talks to Dave oh, more so like dried <laughs> bubble gum really hard to chew. <laughs> Gross. Not that you'd want to chew dried bubble gum, but I'm just saying, you know, it gets I, yeah. it gets hard, it gets sticky. This sounds like a penis. I'm sorry. I, I know a couple dried bubble gum chewers. <laughs> okay, anyway. Wait, the wait. Wine is roughly... <laughs> <laughs> Where do did I even go with that? Did, you did. did. I, you did. I, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I made a dick joke. I made a dick joke. And you. Bubblegum dry dick. Do you chew dry dick bubblegum? Do you chew dick first off? <laughs> I mean, it depends on how much you're willing to pay. Hit me up uh, with a post call, postlogwan at gmail.com. Oh my god. <laughs> hit, hit him up if you want pickles. Actually, here's the thing. How many pickles do you got? How many jars of pickles you got? Uh I think I have like five left. Still five left? Holy shit. Yeah, I'm I'm running out. I I gave some away to uh some soldiers at my uh at my last battle assembly. Mm. So yeah, they they love them. So yeah, that's postal iguana yeah. at gmail .com. If you yes. want pickles, hit hit that man up there in the middle. Ten, ten dollars <laughs> plus shipping. Just hey. be forewarned, shipping costs a lot. <laughs> it's all right. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Anywho. Reduced by half. Uh, now you want to add two cups of chicken stock along with a 28 ounce can of San Marzano tomatoes that I pureed in the blender. Uh, then uh, you're going to want to also add spatula, spatula. Uh, two or three rosemary uh, sprigs. No if spatula. you can't get no fresh factual, rosemary, yeah. For whatever Dave's. reason, about a teaspoon of dried rosemary will be fine. Dave's fatula. Oh my god! <laughs> you, you you make it sound like it's a body part. <laughs> fatula. Yeah. Fatula. Yeah. A fatula. It's like his version of a harm. <laughs> oh my. That's... Oh. Oh, that's what his hand looked like earlier. That was Dave's fatula. <laughs> his his fatula. fatula. <laughs> his fatula. <laughs> Is that right, you, you gotta is that the day version of a love handle? The fatula. All right, yeah, you know, we gotta we, we gotta put a we gotta put Lord of Patriarchy's fatula in the title now. Yeah, yeah. Count fatula. 
Count Fatula. <laughs> <laughs> Count Fatula. Count, Count Fatula. <laughs> yes. I'm going to start calling that's, Dave. That's, that's great. Start... That's great. I'm going to use right, that. So next time I talk this. to Dave, I've got a few things to, to bring up to him. I've got to bring up Jar Cole. I've got to call him Count Fatula. Um, what was the, there's some other thing, too. What was the other fucking thing? There was some um, other fucking thing I have to do. I have to. Oh, I have to ask about the opinionated observer. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Observer. Yeah. Yes. How would he fit? He's been fucking How avoiding me on that. Every time I bring it up yeah. in the comments, he's yeah. like, I, "I'm like the lady from Bird Box. I can't see anything that you're fucking saying, bitch." I was like, "Fuck you! It's time it's, that you fucking answer me." He like every time I I try to interact with Dave, he just reminds me of my uh, my dog Guy. R.I.P. guy, my sweet baby. Uh, Because anytime he would get into trouble, like he would go through the garbage or something, like, who did that? And he would just look off into the distance. (laughs) His eyes would would go towards me and be like, is he still looking at me? (laughs) I don't don't know. Guilty dog behavior. Guilty dog behavior. (laughs) What in the sewer looking vomit is on the screen? Oh, that is the lamb ragu that is supposed to go with the gnocchi. Does this resemble something that you've seen at your workplace? Yeah, this is is what you guys skim off of the top of the uh, of those giant vats. You know, to purify our water. Thank you for what you do. Yes, thank you, Fit. <laughs> Just some real middle stall madness. You you really handle shit well. <laughs> middle stall madness. <laughs> oh my god! All right, all right, all right. This this is what Tub Girl ate. Tub Girl. Oh. <laughs> Tub Girl. Really? Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to the early 2000s, folks. Rotten.com. I wanted to forget that. <laughs> Turned out the whole tub. With That's the it. Tub. That's it. You're being signed up for a lemon party. Fucking. All right. Nah, enough, I'm, you know, I'm enough just going to cancel my girl. internet. <laughs> enough fucking flub girl talk. You know? Oh, my God. <laughs> Terrible shit we're talking about now. All right. Uh, you can also add a bay leaf if you want, also salt and pepper to taste. Bay leaf. And then you're going to want to put this on a slow simmer for at least three hours. Again, ragu is not hard. It is Dave, time it's consuming. Already cooked. Don't be intimidated. Yeah. You got nothing to do for a Sunday. Perfect. So again, like I said, you got nothing to do for a Sunday. Yeah, just beat off. Average fucking day for Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got nothing to do. Uh, just shave a hamster and you jerk it out. <laughs> shave, a, shave, shave a, a hamster. hamster. <laughs> yeah, shave a hamster. Get out that Vaseline. And have yourself a good old time. Stack a bunch of chairs upside down. I don't know. God is fake anyway. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. God's fake. Just, just grab that hamster. All right. Yeah, Dave. Richard Gear your ass. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that poor that poor hamster is going to see things that no hamster should ever see. <laughs> Save a hamster? Oh, stop. All right, you know what? Never mind. It, it, I I knew someone would be able to help themselves but make that joke. Yeah. I uh, you know what? I have questions too fit. I just I ignore them. <laughs> I ignore them. They they come from strange places, all right? Kiana's Richard grinding her gears. Oh, 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 yeah. Strange, stranger, stranger things. <laughs> oh my god, you're terrible. Stranger like that's the worst water. thing that's been on on this broadcast. I mean, yeah, I know. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, only been yeah. two episodes and we've said worse. Like fucking hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Speaking of broads, let's continue. You're gonna want to what? slowly simmer this for three hours. All right, time to do a little cooking show magic. Okie dokie. This is kind of what you're looking for in terms of simmer. We're about nah. halfway done. We're about an hour and a half into this. We got an hour nope. and a half more to go. Again, like I said, don't be intimidated by this. Really simple. This is also a great beer drinking dish. I mean, you got three hours. Of Every dish to you is a good beer drinking dish. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You, 
Fucking That's son all of he bitch. ever really does is he just sits around and drinks, he drinks beer and beer. points at, and, and he's points not even good at it. He lost to Jake, who doesn't even drink that much. Like he was hell. three sheets before he started this so-called sauce. Yeah, and was on top of that, beforehand. you see all that shit that's around the rim. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to scrape that off and put it into the fucking sauce. It's just waste at this point. It's crusty. It's gross. It's burnt. I mean, that describes Dave in quite a few areas. Oh, fair enough. Crusty, gross. <laughs> burnt. Can't you see? Burnt in a few areas. Burn out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Holy Be intimidated. Mari. yourself a beer and play some Red Dead Redemption 2 and make the best. This is not authentic Italian American food. Yeah, this is inauthentic, inauthentic, in food. This is inauthentic, low frequency cooking from a drunk. This is technically food. In the universe. Yeah, technically. Uh, Technically. Okay, three hours is over. And the ragu is done. You want about that consistency. If you want it a little thicker. That better have not been as done for the time. Video. No. Uh, but now it's time to make the gnocchi. Okay. I usually okay. talk about it. I just kind of skip over it because I expect people. To we have 15 people about watching, about by the way. All right. I'll show you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like. Yeah, that like boiling button. water. Now I've added uh, at least three tablespoons of salt. Why? Uh, Why? Yeah, what? Fairly what? He added. Why? He added salt. <laughs> he added. Salt. He Hold just on. plopped that fucker back in there. Can, can you go back? That was not three. Did you say three tablespoons? Yes, he did. Okay. Hang on. One more again. Expect people to know how to make pasta water, but all right, I'll show you how I do it. That's, a That's pot like of a half a cup of salt, <laughs> you sack of shit. <laughs> Jesus fucking am I, am I wrong? No, you're not he, wrong. You're not even wrong. Did he go to the Dead Sea or did he just make it appear out of thin air with that fucking shit? Like also, Jesus Christ. It, it I I I wish Mango were here. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but anytime you are cooking a pasta, you should always finish the pasta in the sauce. I, I don't know about uh, gnocchi. Gnocchi, yeah. Because it, it's it's made from potato, right? Uh, I, I think so. Yeah. So, it's it's a little bit different. I, I I don't know, but you should finish it in the sauce so that it gives more flavor. Don't. Jesus fucking Christ, man! You. You pissed me off. I have to work tomorrow. I know you have, like, Dave, look, here, listen, shut up. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh my God. Dave, you, <laughs> I know uh, you I, have he's... to get up at 4.30 in the morning to make sure that all of the checkout lanes have the proper amount of bags because you're a bag boy and that's the only thing you've ever done in your entire <laughs> life. But I actually have to go to fucking work tomorrow. I was supposed to get off of here half an hour ago, but I am so fucking pissed at this that I want to stay. I want to stay. I'm going to be tired as fuck. I yeah, have to work yeah. all weekend too. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I just, I just want to say real quick, Mari, I have not ignored you at all, but God damn it. <laughs> That's potato. Yes. Potato. Potato. Can we get can we get potatoes in the chat yes. for poor favor gnocchi that was sacrificed in this video? Yeah, sacrificed to, to on the altar of Dave's cooking show. <laughs> Those poor potatoes deserve better. They really did. Yeah, just to live in a fucking shallow grave called fucking Dave's trash can. That's sad, Dave. Uh, Dave, Dave, the potatoes are angry. I throw out my cooking all the time. <laughs> he said that before. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I think, I think, yeah. Roughly something. To that something, uh, something equivalent to it, yes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I'm still here because I hate myself. Also, it's really hard for me to fall asleep. 
uh, we'll be wrapping this up soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once, Regardless, once, yeah. Once, once this is matter. once we get to the f- the the final product, if you can call it product, then yeah, I think we'll I think we'll be good. <laughs> All right, let's set. continue. Thank Quick you, water. Ashley. <laughs> now I've added uh, at least three tablespoons of salt. At least. Uh, yeah, come you on. Just water <laughs> I mean, it, at least look, three uh, tablespoons. Half a cup is at least three <laughs> tablespoons. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was four. Wait, no. Yeah, four. I don't. It's it's already excessive. It's already excessive. But let's continue. Let's get through this. I gotta go to bed. Salty as salty as a C is uh, a good measure. So again, don't worry about over salt. Fuck. Now I'm gonna let it come back up to the boil. Okay, the water has come back up to the boil. Time. Oh to my add god. One pound of gnocchi to this. Uh, this will only take two or three minutes. So again, make this right at the end. Of again, your, uh, again. Ragu. And then uh, just in case you need it, just in case, uh, make sure to grab about a cup of this pasta water. You might pasta not water. It, trust pasta. me, it's one of those things. You'd oh, rather my God. Have it Fuck you and your pasta water. What do you mean you might it. not need it? All right. Well, why do you want me to get this pasta water? That Noki is almost done, if not done. They love to float. All right, what? last thing we got to do is take the Noki. They're trying to escape the pot. Yeah, They're They're trying, trying to, trying to escape, escape get away your from you. house of horrors. <laughs> Holy poor Noki shitballs! <laughs> oh, Dave, the sauce is cold. I can tell you that right off the bat. It's the raw. Cold. It's cold. The lamb is overcooked. It's way overcooked. And it's going, this is just going to taste like shit. The gnocchi is going to be extra salty. And the lamb sauce, lamb sauce is going to be uh, extremely bland because you didn't actually add any seasonings or anything to it. Yeah, you didn't it was season the... the meat. It's one of the main things you should do. Season the meat. Yeah, it was. It looked like a cheap peasant's oh, melange of meat and pasta. That's basically I all it do. amounted to. Anywho, key that we drained off into a colander and add it to our ragu. Holy fucking shit! I want oh, to kill him Jesus right now. Christ! And uh, just mix everything, and now there's, we'll be able to move on. There's at least there's there's at a at a maximum fifty gnocchi in a pot that could easily take about two hundred gnocchi. Yeah. For that amount of sauce. He's Why just are you doing them. this? He's just and slathered them in sauce. And you're going to continue to cook it, and it's just going to turn into gloop. Yeah, it's just going to fucking be absolutely worthless by the time that you fucking Jesus. cook it into that. Yeah, hashtag save the gnocchi. You're going to lose all the fucking good texture. Please like, save them. Save not... the gnocchi. If they're cold, you're cold. Let them in. Let yeah. them in. <laughs> be humane <laughs> to your Let gnocchi. them into your go instead of Dave's trash can. <laughs> exactly. You could have easily portioned out these uh, the gnocchi onto two plates and then spoon the sauce, the sauce on yeah. to the, onto the and top. And then save the sauce for later if you have all that extra shit. Then yeah, I yeah. get you. And then you could add tons of different pastas. Spaghetti, fettuccine, so uh, rotini, so fettuccine, some, yeah. uh, some some damn uh, 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 what is it? Baked uh, ziti? Some, yeah, yeah. some shit like that. You could have added, added anything. So you could put it over a piece of chicken, uh, you know, some pork. I wouldn't necessarily do it with like steak or anything, but put it over some chicken, something a uh, uh, much leaner. Jesus Christ, you do not know how to cook. Fuck me. I hate everything about this. I have been up way too late. Let's finish this video. So yeah, yeah let's this it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll be mercifully I'm done. I'm to serving this. Okay, to serve it. Get yourself a pasta serving dish. As you can see in the center of it, I have a scoop of cold ricotta cheese. Why are you putting it on top of the cheese? And the only thing left to do is to take that hot pasta and put it over the top. Why? That's it. Why? And by the way, 
This dish was absolutely delicious. Why are you doing it no, like that's that? Carmelo's. I, I, why doesn't he explain why he's doing it like that? Because I don't. Get I don't it. know. I at least want to understand his logic. You know. Anyway, what? Quit I guess we're done. Yeah, mercifully we're done. We're Quit. done. Put the pasta on the plate and then put the cheese on top and a small garnish of, like, I don't know, uh, parsley or something. Just yeah. a little sprig of something, and it'll look so much better. It's so much more aesthetically pleasing. I fucking hate this. I hate everything. Hyun, thank you for having me. You but are. Well, I says, hate uh, everything about this. Dave, why such a small bowl? Uh, why, why such a small dick? You know? <laughs> Yeah, why such yeah. a small penis? Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel about it. Like, come on, could it could have added a piece of bread? And of course, he doesn't eat it because, well, he knows it's gonna be dog shit. Right. Oh, he just probably uh, fobbed it off on the people that are supposedly in his house. Well, yeah. since we've got a tired lizard, I'll hand it off to Hyun to wrap up the uh, say any closing Hyun's statements. Geez. All right. Well, while I don't have any personal thoughts, uh, I will thank lizard for being here on very short notice i want to thank the people that are in the chat the people that are not in the chat and still watching or listening i want to thank them too and as always this is csb have fun out there good night and good luck take care folks